I'm not embarrassed about it. It's not the kind of thing that would embarrass me at all. Who says that? Who? Who says that to anyone? Hey guys, this is Sophie Shohet. Welcome back to another video. If you're new, please subscribe because I do three videos a week. This happened in March and this was my first experience going into Balmain. I work weekends and I take off on Monday. So on this particular Monday morning, I had it in my head. I wanted to go into London and I wanted to try on the Balmain classic blazers. You know, the sort of it look, they look like this, but this isn't actually one of them. I wanted to try it on in black, camel, and the navy blue colour. And I wanted to know really what size I was as well, because they come in French sizing and I didn't know if they were like small, large, true to size, whatever. So I like go up into London. I got into the store at probably like about 11 o'clock. And when I walked in, it was a group of maybe three or four sales assistants and they were all around the till. I walked in and they sort of like, one of them glanced over her shoulder and looked at me. No one said anything. And then they all went back and they were like talking to each other. Kind of made it a bit awkward from the onset really, because when you walk in somewhere, if someone like looks at you and then like they go back to their little chats, it just, it's a bit, bit awkward. But anyway, I didn't really care. I was walking around the store and I knew what I wanted. I was like looking through the, the rails. And meanwhile, these girls are still having their chat in the corner. I couldn't hear what they were saying. It was sort of like muttered. And then they every so often they giggle. And I felt like a complete idiot. I didn't know if they were laughing at me or like a private joke. I'm looking down the rails though. And then this one of the girls walks over to me and she was really, really hyperactive and sort of acting a bit strange, like an, an an undertone of sarcasm running through her manner and I couldn't put my finger on it, but she was sort of being rude. I felt like she was saying things that were sort of rude, but she was saying it in such a polite and smiley and friendly and helpful way. So she says to me like, please madam, go to the changing room and I will bring some blazers for you to try on. And I said, oh no, I, I don't really want to do that. I just want to look. I just want to, you know, I don't need to go into a changing room. She keeps going on at me about it, kind of to shut her up. I was like, oh, I'll just go in the changing room. Okay. The changing room is amazing. There was like a bit that you got changed in and then there was a bit that came off it that had a little sofa in it and that's the bit that had the curtain drawn across it so it was like quite, it was like a room and I said to her oh do you want to know my size and she just looked me up and down she was like no I know your size and she said it like that and I was like bloody hell should I be offended she comes back a few moments later and she hangs on the, on the wall in the change room, she hangs up all of these blazers in different colors. And she says, Madam, please go ahead, try on the blazers. I will be just outside of the curtain. If you need anything, just let me know. I turn around and I look at these blazers on the wall. And I think, they're fucking massive. Like, like huge, like maybe, Maybe this is Balmain sizing. Anyway, I put on this first blazer and it it was it was beyond big. It was just, it was absolutely massive. It didn't fit in any way, shape or form. There was no part of my body that it was fitting. You know how sometimes you can try on a, like a cut blazer and I've got quite wide shoulders. So sometimes I have to size up in order for the blazer to fit my shoulders and then have it tailored, but it wasn't even fitting on my shoulders. It just wasn't fitting it. The shoulders were like out here. It was like a man's jacket. And there was no point in me trying on the other colors because when I looked at the labels, they were all the same size and they were a size 46 French. Now I didn't know what that was, but then when I looked it up after, I think that is a, what is that? That is a, that is a UK 18. Now, I normally take like an eight to 10 in the UK. So anyway, I call in, I call in the lady and she pops her head around the curtain and I'm stood there in this jacket. And I said to her, this, this doesn't fit. Can we get some more sizes in please? She looks at me and she goes, hmm, turn around a minute. So I turn around and she's just, I don't know, pulling at the hems or whatever, trying to straighten it all up. I turned back around and faced her and she said, I don't think we can go down a size. You know, madam, you're quite large. We don't have anything that's going to fit if we go down another size. How she could have thought that I'm not, this isn't just like an exaggeration guys, where I'm like, oh, it was a little bit big. It was massive. It didn't fit on any single level. I just said to her, look, can, can we please try? Can we please try? She's like, no, honestly, I've worked for Balmain for X number of years. I know what I'm talking about. That is as good as we're gonna get. But she said, madam, don't worry. She said, yes, I can see it's a little bit 
big around here. What we can do, we can do an alteration service for you where we can just bring in the waist a little bit more. That was it. So she said, please, madam, go and try on the other colors and then I will come back to you in a moment. So she closes the curtain and I'm stood in this dressing room. And by this point, I actually felt like she was being rude and really unhelpful. I didn't even want to buy it by this point. I was like, you're being weird. You're sort of being rude. It doesn't fit anyway. If you're saying this is the size for me, it doesn't fit. The next thing that happens is another customer walks in the shop. The same lady who's serving me goes to serve this other lady. And I was like, thank God, because I'm going to call another lady over and get her to find me another size. So I stick my head outside of the little curtain thing called over this other girl and I said oh excuse me I'm just trying on some blazers please could you go and get me a size and I think I said a third because I'm normally a 38 I was like oh could you just go and get me like a, a, a couple of 38s in these colors so this lady really helpful she comes back gives me well I say really helpful she was just like there you go goodbye gives me these jackets I go back in the change room I try on the 38 and it fits like a glove so by this point I'm like cool I know what size I am. I'm actually not gonna buy from you guys because you've been rude and you've been kind of unhelpful and just generally strange. The next thing I need to do is get the hell out of this shop and hopefully that strange lady won't notice that I've gone and I can just disappear into, into my life. I went to come out of the changing room and the, the, the original sales lady had finished with this other customer. She came back over to me and she said, oh madam, how did you get on? And I said, look, um, I, I tried on another size. I've worked out the size I am. Thank you. I'm going to go. She was like, no, 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 please let me see this other size on you. By this point, she was definitely mocking me. She definitely thought this was a joke. And I thought to myself, I don't even care if you think I'm fat. Like that is the vibe I'm getting. I really don't care, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel fat here. Even though I'd said no to her, I ended up back in the bloody changing room and I had the 38 on and she could see that it fitted. And I was wearing this 38 and she goes, turn around, turn around. So I turn around, she was like pulling at it again. And she goes, well, madam, congratulations, because you are indeed actually a 38. I thought you were a 46. Who says that? Who, who says that to anyone? Congratulations. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? Saying to a customer in a shop, congratulations, you're not as big as I thought you were. I. Didn't I honest, honestly, I actually laughed at that point because I thought you, are, I didn't care. I wasn't offended. I really wasn't offended by what she thought. I'm happy in my own self. When she said that, I thought that is what all this has been about. You think I'm fat? I actually laughed. I snorted. I, I, I just thought I cannot believe you said that and you think that I'm going to go and drop over a thousand pounds now and buy this jacket and you get your commission and you've just insulted me. It was really, really awkward. She didn't even really push me to buy it, to be honest. I think the whole objective was just to have a laugh. So I didn't buy the jacket and I left the shop. Phoned up my husband on the way out because by this point I was actually laughing. I, and I wasn't, I honestly, genuinely not hurt, not offended. Thought it was, I just thought she was being I don't know why, but she was being weird. She was being really, really strange and trying to be unkind, but doing it in sort of a friendly way so I couldn't have a go at her. I never did get my Balmain blazer. Maybe I will one day. If you have ever had a situation like this in any store, I would love to know. Please share below. I read all the comments and I'll try and comment on them as well.